Hello my dear students, how are you? Today we are going to study the poem The Felling of a Banyan Tree by Dilip Chitre. The Felling of a Banyan Tree by Dilip Chitre. As you all know, the Banyan tree is regarded as religious uh, tree uh, in our Hindu culture in India. Uh, even the women worship the tree uh, on one festival uh, for the longer life of their husbands and the same tree is felling uh, and Dilip Chitre has written the poem about the felling of a banyan tree. So in the beginning uh, we will study a few things about life of Dilip Chitre. Dilip Chitre is a bilingual poet like Rabindranath Tagore. He is a bilingual poet. He wrote in Marathi. Uh, Marathi was his uh, mother tongue and he also wrote in English language. Okay. Uh, so he was born in the year 1938 and he died in the year 2009. Dilip Chitre is also a versatile person. He was teacher, painter, filmmaker and magazine column, columnist. He was teacher, painter, filmmaker. He has made some films also and he was also a magazine columnist. So overall he was also a versatile personality. Uh, he has to his credit the Sahitya Academy Award. He has won Sahitya Academy Award. Uh, Chitre lived and taught in Ethiopia, Ethiopia and USA. Uh, I told you he was painter, filmmaker, magazine, columnist. Uh, he was a pers versatile personality but he was a teacher basically. He taught in USA and Ethiopia. Uh, and above all, he was also a, a good translator. He has uh, translated many Marathi books uh, into English, uh, including the collection and anthology of Marathi poetry and Sage Tuka. So uh, these are his famous translated work, Sage Tuka and an anthology of Marathi poetry. Exile, alienation and self-disintegration and death are the major themes in Chitre's poetry. The main themes of his poetry are uh, Exile, alienation and self-disintegration. These are the overall themes uh, of his poems. Okay, uh, His poems reflect uh, mostly the cosmopolitan culture and urban sensibility. And he uses oblique expressions and ironic tone to explore the urban life. About this poem, uh, this poem is about the cutting of the banyan tree. This is about the felling of the banyan tree uh, and this was the ancient banyan tree uh, which was in the yard uh, of his ancestral house Dilip Chitre's ancestral house uh, was in Badoda and the banyan tree was there uh, in the yard the cutting down of the banyan the cutting down of the banyan tree here uh, signify the cutting down of roots here the banyan tree is not just a tree but it stands for a tradition. It stands for the connection uh, between the village, between your native place 
uh, and the place you are migrated to. So this is the disconnection, this is the disintegrity, uh, this is the rootlessness which has been projected in this poem. So this is cutting down of roots and the movement to different and more modern atmosphere. In this case, uh, Dilip Chitre, he has migrated. His native place was Baduda. And he has migrated to Mumbai. Now we call it Mumbai. In the beginning, when Chitre wrote this poem, it was called as Bombay. So, Dilip Chitre migrated from Baroda to Bombay. So, this poem is about the disconnection, about the cutting down of the roots, about the uh, disintegrity with your native place and all these things they are being projected in this poem. I hope uh, you have understood uh, the biographical background about the poet Dilip Chitre. Now we will move towards the poem. My father told the tenants to leave. My father told the tenants to leave. Who are the tenants? Tenants are those people who pay the rent and they live in your house. So his father uh, told the tenants, hmm, it is about his ancestral house he is talking about and there were tenants living uh, and he asked the tenants to leave the house. The tenants were asked to leave the house. They were ordered to leave the house. Okay. Uh, okay. So the tenants are those people uh, who pay the rent to the owner of the house. Owner of the house. Okay. Who lived in the houses surrounding our house on the hill? His ancestral house. Dev Chitra's ancestral house was in Badoda. It was on the hill and he asked the tenants, not only the tenants from his house, but the tenants from all the surrounding to leave their houses. One by one, the structures were demolished because the uh, old structures, the old houses which were there, they were being demolished under the disguise of modernization. Uh, nowadays we call it as a renovation. The old structures were demolished. Demolish is to destroy. Why they were destroyed? Why old houses were they were destroyed? For the sake of renovation. So it is we can say so called modernization. New buildings, new structures and all these things. For the sake of modernization, for the sake of new buildings. Only our own house remained. His own house remained and the trees. And the trees surrounding his own house they remained. Trees are sacred, my grandmother used to say. See, grandmother is there. Grandmother here symbolizes the tradition. Uh, she is the um, head of the family and she is ordering his father uh, Dilip Chitra's father, please don't cut the trees. It is not in our tradition. We don't cut the trees because trees are holy. Trees are sacred. Uh, trees are uh, pure. Okay, so we don't cut the trees. Sacred. Here we can say trees are holy. They are also dear to God. We can say gods. And failing them is a crime. Grandmother was saying again and again, don't cut the trees because trees are sacred and failing them is a kind of a crime because they are also dear to God. But he massacred them all. What is the meaning of the word massacre? Massacre is a ruthless killing. All the trees in the surrounding to kill in mob. We can say many trees, they were cut at the same time. So all the trees, they were massacred. Which were the trees? The Sheoga, the Audumbar, these are all the Marathi names. The Sheoga, the Audumbar, the Neem were all cut down. 
but the huge banyan tree stood like a problem. See all other trees they were cut down. Shevva tree, Audumbar tree, Neem tree. They were immediately cut down but the main problem was about this banyan tree. Whose roots lay deeper than all our lives. See banyan tree, it was there maybe from hundreds of years because the banyan tree was very huge. It was a very large tree. Okay. So what David Chitra is saying, this was creating a huge problem. It was a problem standing in between modernization. It was not easy to cut the banyan tree. Because the roots were deeper. My father ordered it to be removed. His father, Virip Chitra's father said, fall that tree, cut that tree. The banyan tree was three times as tall as our house. See how old was the tree. It was three times heighter. The height of the tree was three times. Three times height. It was three times heighter than the house. It was so huge tree. It was huge tree. Its trunk had a circumference of 50 feet. What was the circumference? What was the circumference of the tree? 50 feet. What is circumference? The size of something measured as the distance around it. So it is a mathematical unit. Circumference we calculate. So it was the circumference of the banyan tree was 50 feet. See how huge was the tree. 50 feet circumference. Its scraggly aerial roots fell to the ground. You see banyan tree has aerials. They come down like this. Uh, and how, what was the height? Uh, what was the height? It was almost 50 feet. So the height of the aerials was also 50 feet. They were scraggly. What is the meaning of the word scraggly? Uh, scraggly is untidy. See, it is a tree. It is an old tree. Um, and so the aerials were also not uh, in order. They were in the untidy manner. The tree was spread. You can say the tree was spread all over the place. From 30 feet or more, so first they cut the branches. So people, the workers, they started cutting the tree. From which height they started? They started cutting the tree from the 30 feet. Sawing them off for 7 days. See the work continued. Cutting of the tree, felling of the banyan tree continued for 7 days. Such was the tree. It was a big tree. It was a huge tree. And they used many instruments like saw. Saw is an instrument. In Marathi we call it as a karvat which is used for cutting the tree. And the hip was huge. See the wood. The wood collected from the banyan tree. It was collected in the heap. Heap is a pile. So the wood was collected like this and it was not a small hip but it was a huge hip. Insects and birds began to leave the tree. See, this is the whole ecosystem. Banyan tree is not just a banyan tree. It is a whole ecosystem. It is a whole ecosystem where it is a whole ecosystem where birds are there, insects are there who are living over there from many years. So the whole ecosystem was being destroyed for the sake of modernization for the sake of renovation. See, Dilip Chitre is, uh, he is not against organization or he is not against modernization. But still, we have to pay the cost of the urbanization, of the modernization. Deforestation is there. Migration is there. Many costs we are paying for the sake of modernization. Pollution is there. We are moving away from our roots. Rootlessness is there. We have lost our native place. We have lost connection to our native places. So these are the main concerns of Dilip Chitre behind writing this poem. So insects and birds began to leave the tree. And then they came to its massive trunk. So now they had come to its massive trunk. As I said, this is a huge tree. So the trunk of the tree was also very huge. The circumference we have discussed what was the circumference it was almost about 50 feet 
Fifteen hmm? men. How many men were working for seven days? See, the tree was taller. Height of the tree was fifty feet. How many men were working? Fifty men. They were working for seven days. Fifty men working seven days with their saw, with their instruments, and they were trying to cut the tree. Such was a huge tree. Banyan tree was it. They chopped and chopped. They used axes. The axe they used, the saw they used. They used all these things and they were chopping. They were cutting the tree. The great tree revealed its rings of 200 years. See, when you cut the tree, when you cut the trunk of the tree, uh, when you get a log, hmm, there are circles and that circle reveals the age of that tree. And the circle, what... Uh, that circles revealed was that the tree, what was the age of the tree? It was almost 200 years. So if we take that the generation is of 50 years, so the tree has witnessed this banyan tree, it was almost 200 years old. So how many Dilip Chitre's generations uh, have been witnessed by this banyan tree? Almost four generations. See, almost Four generations of Chitre's family were witnessed by the Banyan tree. And such a huge tree, such a witness was being killed, was being massacred. We watched in terror. See, whole people, including the Chitre, including the poet, was watching this scene. This was a horrible scene. This was a terrible scene. And fascination, this slaughter, this massacre, slaughter, massacre. Hmm? The killing of the tree. They were watching. As a raw mythology revealed to us its age. Mythology is a science about myths. You can say. Mythology talks about the myths, the beliefs. Hmm? So what is mythology? You can see. Mythology is a branch. Mythology. It talks about myths. What are myths? Myths are the general beliefs of the society. General beliefs of the society. So society believed that the rings, the rings, when you cut the trunk of the tree, there are rings and those trunks, they reveal the age of the tree. As raw mythology revealed, revealed is to open up. Reveal the secret, you know, this, revealing the secret to open up. The secret about the tree, about the age of the tree, it was opened up uh, and we came to know that the tree, the age of the tree was almost 200 years. Soon afterwards, we left Baduda. Hmm? Earlier I told you that uh, the poet, he migrated from Baroda for Bombay. Where there are no trees, see Bombay is a cosmopolitan Having cosmopolitan culture, uh, it's a huge metropolitan city. Mm, there, there is no place for the people to live where trees can be planted in Bombay. So what Dilip Chitra is saying? Soon afterwards, we left Baroda for Bombay. Where there are no trees except the one. There is no tree except the one. Which grows and sits in one tree. See, this tree, Banyan, Banyan tree. This Banyan tree has made a permanent place in Dilip Chitre's life, in Dilip Chitre's dreams. As he shifted, as he migrated from Baroda, his native place to Bombay, uh, you can say his Karma Bhumi workplace, he migrated to Bombay where he started his career. Uh, but there were no trees in Bombay, he is saying. And there was only one tree which I remember, which I had in my mind, which I had in my dream, was that this the old huge banyan tree. The roots, they were deeper in his mind. Its aerial roots looking for ground to strike. See, he hasn't forgotten that old tree, its aerial roots which reached till the ground. And when the aerials reach the ground, you know there is a, a new tree, it is being born. Uh, that is the speciality of the banyan tree. You don't have to plant it. When the aerial reaches the ground, uh, there is a birth of a new tree. So overall you will find the felling of a banyan tree uh, is a very simple poem. 
but it is discussing about uh, the many uh, critical issues uh, we will see the first critical issue is you can say we are harming the ecosystem we are harming the natural system harm to harm to ecosystem he is also talking about deforestation cutting of the forest okay he is also talking about the issue of migration to cities he is also talking about the modernization and its good effects are also there but here he is talking about its uh, you can say he is talking about its bad effects he is talking about uh, you can say rootlessness the people who are living in the cities they feel rootless because we have moved away from our native places see this is rootlessness not only include moving away from your uh, native place but it is also moving away from your families it is also moving away from your culture rich culture which we enjoyed in our native places so all these critical issues they are being discussed in this poem harm to ecosystem deforestation migration to cities modernization rootlessness and because of rootlessness uh, there is self disintegration so these are the main things uh, which have been discussed in this poem i think uh, you have understood this poem better uh, in our next video we will discuss about the next poem thank you very much